The PERM green card process is a time-consuming and expensive investment that requires thoughtful strategizing at the outset. Here are three things to consider before starting a PERM case. First, remember that the PERM position is technically a future position with the sponsoring company. The PERM process can take upwards of one and a half to two years, and if the applicant is subject to a visa backlog based on their country of birth, the green card process could take much longer. By the time the adjustment of status application is filed, the labor certification must still be valid. This means that the terms of the applicant's job on the PERM must be aligned with the individual's position with the company when finalizing the process. Material changes to positions that would require a new PERM can sometimes be hard to determine. Since the labor certification is only valid for work in that specific geographic area, a relocation would likely require a new PERM. A change in the applicant's PERM job duties can also impact the filing. Factors to consider are changes in title, salary, job duties, including managerial duties that are more than minimal, the education, experience, and special skills required for the position, and the department within the company where the position sits. How the PERM position was classified by the Department of Labor and how the DOL would classify a new position is also something to consider. Best practice is to craft the job description in such a way that the applicant can continue to advance in the company while still performing substantially the same job. A second factor to consider during the PERM prep is the petitioner's ability to pay the pro-offered wage. An employer must be able to prove that they can afford to pay the foreign national the salary noted on the labor certification. Generally, this requirement is more of a concern for smaller or newer businesses than it is for larger, more established ones. When the I-140 is filed, USCIS will review documentation such as financial statements or tax returns, or evidence that the petitioner has already been paying the applicant the prevailing wage for a year or longer. Finally, given the fact that the PERM process was established to protect American workers, employers should consider any recent or potential layoffs before filing a PERM application. Any layoffs of U.S. workers occurring within six months prior to filing a PERM application will lead to issues if those positions were in the same job field as the applicant. Company layoffs in unrelated positions are unlikely to have an effect on the application. Here at Berardi Immigration Law, we are thorough in working through these details, and even more importantly, very experienced with PERM cases. Give us a call today to work on your, you or your employer's green card case. I promise you'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. We'd love if you would like our video and if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, hit that notification button so you never miss another video from Berardi Immigration Law. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.